Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So I got another video for you of another sheer wall setup. And for those of you who've been watching my videos, you know I've been doing these sheer wall setups lately for advertising. And for those of you who haven't seen my videos before, if you want to know how I do my sheer wall setups, just stay tuned. So I'm going to start off by blowing up two balloons at a time. These are 11 inch silver mirror chrome Sempertex brand balloons. Now notice how they look coney, so I'm just gonna release some air by pressing the top of the balloon and releasing air from the bottom. And then I'm gonna double twist the neck and tie these balloons together. So I use five inch, 11 inch, and 18 inch balloons. So now I'm gonna take two 11 inch dupes and twist them together. And then I'm gonna take an 18 inch dupe and twist it together to make a cluster. And these clusters have a total of three dupes or six balloons. Now I'm gonna be using some 260Q balloons. These are the balloons you use to make balloon animals out of. And I'm gonna tie the ends together to make a loop. Then I'm gonna take one cluster of balloons and wrap that 260Q around a couple of the balloons in that cluster, then twist it. Then I'm gonna take another cluster and wrap at least two to three balloons from that cluster in that same 260Q. You wanna wrap at least two to three balloons, not just one, two to three, so that these clusters are attached nice and tightly together. And this is how I'm making my balloon garland base. So for those of you who wanna know how many balloons were used for my balloon garland base, I attached about eight clusters together and there were six balloons in each cluster. So that's a total of 48 balloons for my balloon garland base. So now it's time for me to attach my balloon garland to my sheer wall. And I have a cloth cover over that wall. So I'm taking a safety pin and a 260Q balloon and I'm just tying a, a loop just like I did when I made my balloon garland base. And I'm attaching that safety pin to the wall. Now this time around, I'm attaching the safety pin to the front edge of the wall. Normally I attach it to like the very edge of the wall, not the front. But I'm gonna attach it to the front. I'm gonna find the balloon that's nearest to that safety pin and then wrap that 260Q around it. Now, as I'm going upward, I'm going to attach it in the back. So you're gonna see me go behind the wall to put the safety pin back there and then attach the balloons from the back because the balloons tend to kind of go forward. And if you attach it to the front, it will basically overwhelm the wall. Like it'll cover up more of the wall than, well, it covers up more of the wall than I like. So that's just my preference. So now I'm just framing the balloons around the wall. And I want to add some balloons on the other side too. So now it's time for me to add some smaller clusters to the balloon garland to thicken it up. So I'm starting off with a cluster of four 11 inch balloons and I'm attaching them with a 260Q balloon. And I'm just gonna do that throughout the balloon garland. I may add in, you know, some more 18 inch balloons, but most of my clusters will be small clusters of the 11 inch balloons, like four balloons in the cluster and attaching them with the 260. Now to bring more dimension to this garland, I'm gonna be adding the silver ore balloons. And the goal here is to try to blow them up to the point that the creases on the edges that they disappear. You want these balloons to look as round as possible. So I'm using a 260Q. I'm gonna double tie it around the tail there and then use the ends to wrap it around a couple balloons in the garland and then just tie the two ends of the 260Q together. And that's how I'm attaching them. I'm not using glue dashes. Uh, because if you use glue dashes and you want to change the positioning, that's going to be, you know, pretty tough to do that. So 260Q balloons are the way to go. The sizes I used, I believe, were 10 inches and 20 inches. So the key to attaching ore balloons, especially the bigger 20 inch ones, is that you don't want it to take the attention off the rest of the balloons. So you kind of want to position them to the side of the garland, not the front. So at the very bottom, I have that big ore balloon in the front. I'm going to eventually move it over to the side. So now it's time to attach my five inch decorators to my balloon garland and those are clusters of four. I attach one cluster on each end of a 260Q and I'm just gonna wrap that 260 around the balloon in the balloon garland and then just position my clusters where I want them to go. And you can't 
So when making my balloon garlands, I'm really big on trying to find balance. So I like to space my five inch clusters out. I don't want them too close together. So you see me cutting that cluster out. And then I'm also going to take a dupe out of um, that 11 inch cluster right there. Yes, I'm taking the dupe out of that because I'm trying to get it nice and, and balanced the way I like it. And then I'm going to re-add that five inch uh, cluster right there at the end. Now right here is where I move that large silver orb over to the side. So you see the difference when you move the orb over to the side as opposed to having it in the center. And then I'm going to add another small cluster of balloons right there above that orb to fill in that little dip right there. And I'm going to be adding some Mega Shine. I wanted to restore the shininess to the balloons because they oxidize and when you have these chrome silver balloons they look really pretty when you know they're nice and shiny. Make sure you put a tarp, a blanket or something on the floor when you are spraying these balloons because they will make the floor slippery. So here is the finished product. You can check the description box below this video to get links to the materials and supplies that I use for this setup. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.